So these questions are something that I get asked quite often. So I thought I'd make a story just to talk about it in general, just so that everyone could gain some insight, hopefully, on each topic specifically. I'm going to start out with cutting and the basics. Before we get into the specifics of how to cut, a cut is essentially a caloric deficit from your maintenance level of calories in order to lose body fat and retain as much muscle as possible, ideally. So as I just mentioned, a caloric deficit is the key in order to lose body fat. And notice how I'm not saying losing weight, because we want to specifically be losing body fat and not overall mass in general, which could be muscle. So as I mentioned, the key is the caloric deficit. In order to achieve this caloric deficit, your diet will be the main driver of this, along with your workouts and also cardio as needed. But the main... Th- But the main thing is that you are not becoming reliant on your workouts and your cardio to achieve that caloric deficit. This is where your diet itself needs to be the main driver of your caloric deficit based on how much you're eating. The way I see cutting is eating as much as you possibly can while still losing body fat. So the point of that is to not only maintain the progress you're making long term, but also not go crazy. So Joe, why wouldn't I just drastically reduce my amount of calories and just totally ramp up the amount of cardio I'm doing to achieve that caloric deficit really easily? Well, your lifting and your resistance training is going to be greatly affected by doing so. One of the main reasons why you wouldn't want to do what I mentioned in my previous snap is the fact that your lifting and your resistance training will be greatly affected, meaning you will probably lose a lot of the muscle mass you work so hard for. When you're in a cut, you need to make sure that you're training just as hard as you would when you're not in a cut or when you're in a bulk or surplus of calories. Don't be dumb and get yourself injured, but also don't half-ass your workouts just because you're cutting. This is where going back to not drastically reducing your calories and taking a cut slow and steady is going to pay dividends in the long run because you're going to be able to maintain the strength levels that you had at the beginning of your cut, aka more... So the reduction of calories slowly over the course of time definitely plays a vital role in being able to maintain that muscle mass and have continuous good workouts through the deficit. But another main thing is also your protein intake in general. Yes, it is possible to focus on overall caloric intake and reduce our body mass. But in order to help us retain as much muscle as we possibly can, keeping our protein intake in mind along with that calorie goal is huge. Some of you are probably watching those last couple snaps and wondering, what the hell is a caloric deficit, Joe? Well, a caloric deficit is essentially when you're burning more calories than you're intaking throughout the day within your food um, and from what you're eating. So as I was also talking about the caloric deficit, I also was mentioning your maintenance level of calories. And your maintenance level of calories is the amount of calories you need to eat in order to maintain maintenance, the body composition that you're at right now. And I'm going to save the bulking question for another series of videos, but the caloric surplus is the amount of calories you need to eat in order to be eating more than you're burning. So that would be when you're trying to bulk or put on muscle. What is going on, guys? I'm just watching some Joe Rogan right now. It's one of my favorite podcasts to watch. I'm sure if you don't know who he is, um, you probably at least have heard of him. Um, But yeah, watching that right now, just took care of a bunch of um, random stuff like editing up a YouTube video, which you guys will already see. Um, If you're watching this now, and I also took care of my client work for the morning, just answered all my clients, responded to emails and also DMs. So that's kind of a typical morning for me. But right now, I'm actually going to be going in a little bit here to get a leg workout in, which I'm going to show you guys, bring you guys along. And um, yeah. So the main thing I wanted to talk about was that I'm actually still fasted right now. I haven't ate anything since about 11 o'clock at night last night. And I don't do this typically for any specific reason other than it keeps me focused in the morning when I'm working and allows me to get right to work in the morning. So I'm not someone who typically has always um, 
ever had to eat breakfast or feels like they need to eat breakfast. Um, sometimes I'm really hungry in the morning and those days I'll eat, but some days when I feel good I'll have a little bit of caffeine and then I'll pretty much work until I get to a point where I'm either hungry or ready to go to the gym. So I'm actually about to go hit this workout fasted, so I'm going to show you guys that. But really my main point is to show you that you don't need to eat all the time, six meals a day, some specific amount of um, meal timing in order to have success in the gym um, in order to put on muscle or lose fat depending on what your goals are. So hopefully you enjoy this video, hopefully it makes sense and you can enjoy or rather learn something from it. But see you guys in the gym in a little bit here. I'm about to see you guys in the gym in a little bit here. <laughs> What are you doing? Here we are live with uh, Jake. How does it feel to be a Texan in Wisconsin? Uh, pretty shitty. It's pretty cold right now. My nipples are gonna fall off. <laughs> cut some, uh, <laughs> could cut concrete. Cut glass, baby. Some say even could cut diamonds. <laughs> Update, we're gonna squat, do five by two. I'm gonna try to hit 365 by two um, for five sets, obviously. And then uh, we're gonna figure it out. That's the plan. Nothing worse than your, when your headphones die right at the beginning of the workout. Three elbows, elbows, chest, elbows, elbows, elbows. Finish, finish, finish. That's all it is. If you go back to my beginning videos, just super basic stuff and yeah. My my documenting my listening progress really yeah. But uh, on uh, Saturday I saw it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm up 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 up. Oh my god. Come on. Finish finish. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, so. Gravity. Fails again. Hold it. Good for about three. That was that set number four, right? to do single leg RDLs with the landmine and then Bulgarians over here. Just going quick as Jake's lame and has got to leave. Right Jake? I like you because you have a ton of stability. For my lack of balance. 